Have you ever felt so groggy that it's hard to put a logical thought together or even just feel good? I'm Hannah Mason, and in today's Spark, we're going to be exploring cleaning up your mind. Something I face on an almost daily basis is the battle between listening to my body when it's telling me it's really tired and wanting to get just one more thing or two or three or four more things done before I get to bed. So I'm feeling tired right around 8, 8.30. I start to feel tired and my body is already telling me, hey, it's time to wind down. But then 9 o'clock comes, and I know I really want to get myself to bed, but there's just this one more thing I want to do, and oh, just this one more email I want to check, and there's a client who wants me to respond to them, and the things pile up, and then something happens to me that I think happens to people the world over. Because now we live in the modern age, and it's so easy to keep the lights on, and it's so easy to keep the computers going. But it used to be that it was like dark out at night, so everybody just went to bed, and they didn't struggle with this challenge that we face today. And that is that our desire to be that much more productive in the immediate makes us stay up later. And when we stay up past 9 o'clock at night, what happens is that our bodies have to produce fake energy, so to speak, in order to keep us going. And some of you already know what I'm going to say. We've got these glands, they're called the adrenal glands, right above our kidneys. They're these tiny little things, but they do so much and they're really important. And one of the amazing powers of the adrenal glands is that they have the ability to produce a hormone called adrenaline. And adrenaline is what keeps you going, keeps you rocking, makes you have energy. The adrenaline is particularly important when we're facing danger. When we go into fight or flight, we need to pump all of our resources and energy to our extremities so that our arms and legs can work really, really well, focus our attention, get our heart rate going, get our breathing shallow so we can run or fight whatever we need to uh, when we're in the presence of, say, like a bear. And at night, when our bodies are craving sleep and they're telling us, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, and we stay up later, our adrenal glands assume this must be really important. So what they do is they pump up adrenaline. And that'll keep us going. You know, it'll keep us up later. And for a lot of people, they feel like they're night owls because they're like, wow, at night I have so much creativity, I have so much energy. Because what they've basically done is force their bodies to turn into like a cup of coffee, right? And so they literally feel like they've had a cup of coffee and they feel incredibly alert. And I totally experienced that. The negative side of that is that what adrenaline does is it gets us on such a high that then it makes it difficult to fall asleep. So for a lot of people, if they stay up past 10 o'clock at night, then they, they have a hard time falling asleep and they don't hit a deep level of sleep until 11, 11 11.30, 12 o'clock. And for some of you guys, even later than that, which nowadays is like so hard for me to imagine. But I was in college, like 3 a.m. was like totally normal, right? After pizza and ice cream, of course. Let's get real. So what happens is that we produce all this adrenaline. It's as though we've drunk a cup of coffee really late at night. And then it gets us going even more. And then in the morning we have a difficult time getting out of bed and we're groggy and grouchy and frustrated and it's difficult to think clearly. Studies have shown it's easier for us to get into car accidents, harder for us to pass tests, harder for us to get work done. We're significantly less efficient and we might just not be nice to the people we love. But the bigger thing is that because we're so uh, unproductive over the course of the day because we're groggy and our synapses aren't working so well, nighttime comes and... Even though we feel tired, yet again, we're like, wow, I didn't get so much done today. I got to just do, you guessed it, one more thing. And we do one more thing and one more thing. And next thing you know, we've created a cycle where night after night after night, we're burning on adrenaline and we end up not getting the full, solid eight hours of sleep that our bodies need. And studies show that most people think they need less than eight hours and that over 90% of the population needs at least eight hours. So if you think that you're uh, special and that you don't actually need eight hours, yeah, good luck, you do, right? So the question is like, why is sleep so important anyway? 
you feel it in your body when you're not getting enough sleep. But the question is, why does that make such a big difference? I'm going to explain it to you in really, really simple terms. When you sleep, your brain is able to basically go to the bathroom. So when you eat food, you'll notice that your body goes through this whole digestive process. You might not even be aware of what are all those organs sitting around that place you call your belly. But you know something's going on there because eventually you'll go to the bathroom and the waste of whatever you've eaten comes out the other side, right? Now, every single cell in your body has a similar process. It takes in nutrients, it has processes, and it puts out garbage. And that garbage eventually goes through uh, your, your exit organs, so to speak. It'll get flushed out through your kidneys and then bladder and then out through your urine or out through your feces or out through your sweat or out your mucous membranes. You have all sorts of ways that your body gets rid of garbage. And your body can do that because you have times that you're resting, you have times that you're sitting, you have times that you're not as active, maybe you have breaks between digestion, and so your body has all sorts of different times that it can do whatever it needs to do. The brain, though, is different. Your brain can only do all of this going to the bathroom and eliminating waste while you're in sleep, particularly good, solid, deep sleep. Your brain is so necessary throughout the day for every single function, all sorts of functions that you don't even think about. Even if you're just sitting down and meditating, your brain is still regulating your heart rate and your breathing and your temperature and muscular movements and and anything else that your body needs to hold itself up and, and keep itself going and keep it together. And so your brain doesn't really get to rest until you hit deep sleep. And when you do, there's all sorts of processes that it's kind of like the janitors come in and clean house and take all that waste eventually into the other elimination systems that I mentioned earlier. So when you don't get the full eight hours of sleep, only some of that cleaning house has happened. And what you end up with is a lot of garbage up there. You do that for a whole bunch of days in a row and you'll notice that your brain literally feels cloudy and foggy all the time. And there's thousands of people, millions of people, billions of people the world over who feel this way all the time. They just feel cloudy and foggy and they can't put a thought together. And that could come from other health issues, but sometimes it really just comes from a lack of good solid sleep. And the biggest challenge facing all of us in the modern world is that there's so many exciting adrenaline pumping activities that happen at night. And the only piece of advice I can offer is if you were your own parent and you understood that your body, just like a child's body, needs a good night's rest. And if your body's saying to you, hey, can I stay up and watch a movie really, really late? Would you say yeah to your child? Stay up as late as you want and wake up at six in the morning for school even though you've only gotten six hours of sleep and you're totally exhausted. Would you say that to your kid on a daily basis? Or would you say, actually, honey, it's time to go to sleep at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, whenever the child needs to go to sleep, because you need a really good night's sleep so you can have a good day the next day. That's my advice for you. It's like somewhere in there, you have a parent, you have a grown-up that's got to take charge and take care of you. Because your parents, they're not responsible for you anymore. You're an adult. It's your turn. And if you still feel like, wow, you don't know how to get rid of all of the thoughts and all of the muddled up stuff that gets in the way of you actualizing the health goals that you have and the mental health goals that you have, coaching can really help. I'm here and I have time in my schedule. If you're interested, we can set up a discovery session. You can be in touch with me either here on Facebook or on my website at hanamason.com. In the meantime, I wish you a beautiful day. Want to experience more clarity, vibrance, and joy in your life? Book a discovery session with Hannah at hannamason.com slash joy.